Hello, this is Greg Wagner, and I just wanted to kind of kick off this first uh, kick off this class with kind of just give you a, a get out the cobwebs type of Java programming. So for this first assignment, basically you're going to be doing basically you're going to be taking an input and then outputting how much interest is accrued um, throughout the uh, throughout the uh, for the user. So I just basically want to kind of show you a basic kind of way to start this one off and notice now that I'm in a second this is homework zero not homework one. Basically you want to break this into three parts. You're going to have basically you want to take in input from user and this input from the user is going to be the the, the uh, number of months that you're going to be taking in, uh, taking in values Uh, the periodic deposit, and the um, annual interest rate. And then with, with that value, and annual, not annual, annual interest rate, and then basically have a form a loop that compounds the interest. And then the, I'm using Eclipse I know I mentioned on the last one that I was going to do stuff in NetBeans, but I thought the Eclipse, you could actually see this, the text a little better than you could in NetBeans. So I think for the time being I'll be using Eclipse, but if there's a lot of interest in using NetBeans, just let me know and I'll maybe switch back and forth throughout the semester. So within the loop, what you want to do is also um, output monthly values. And so, and then at the finally show um, compounded value. And so I have a formula on this assignment that basically tells you uh, how to calculate the different values and so on and so forth and what kind of, what we want the outputs. So what I want to show you for this assignment is basically how to kind of refresh you on input values. So the input, we're going to import um, Java util. Let's hang a little bit. And then use the, the scanner. And so I like using the scanner for basically all types of input because it's a little bit easier to use than the input, input stream. And so for the input from user, kind of you want to initialize this. So I'll do scanner that scan equals um, new scanner. So remember, new basically tells the value, and then I'm going to read in this value from system dot in. And then whenever you, I open up a scanner, I like to close it too. So I'm going to do scan dot close, and I always do that at the end just to kind of remember to do that. Um, in Java, generally the program is smart enough to clean up for you, but I just wanted to make sure that it actually does that. And so, you may want to have some values here, say something like system dot out print line, enter the number of months. And then you would do, you would make it, so this is going to be integer. I'm going to do int num months. Notice I'm using what's called um, camel case. To kind of refresh what that means is the first word is the first letter is upper, lower case and the second word is uppercase. And then for for classes, I ask that you guys use Pascal case where, the, where all the letters of the first words are uppercase. So I'm going to do number month, and then I'll do scan uh, get oops next 
int. And it should read in the number of month to put in here. And so you'll get in Eclipse, you'll see this curvy underline saying this is a warning. I'm going to ignore this for right now, but warnings are usually something that you want to take care of. And I will be looking, this is since this is a third level programming class, I will be looking for warning and good documentation within your code as far as comments go. Um, normally, if you had it, you know, if you had the introduction of programming classes, one or two things, they gave it a slide a bit more, but you guys are. Um, upper division guys now so you need to be able to do this a little bit better and have a little bit better kind of software engineering best practices using comments to explain stuff and kind of best practices as, follow, as far as naming convention and stuff like that so you can copy this and I'll actually put the code onto the website um, for kind of getting started and then What you want to see is, I want to see kind of a good spacing for out throughout the um, the code. So what I'll be showing is, you, I suggest you use string dot format, and then you put your string in here, and then follow the and the variables here, and so. I'll comment this out, but I basically say I suggest you use string.format for for the outputs of the table so it looks good. And so hopefully this will help you get started with the program and then again I'll post this code on the website but basically this is the format I want you to do in. I, I really don't expect you to do um, any methods or stuff you have. That, that's the next assignment. And all you need to make sure when you, you run this, submit the .java file, not the .class file. I'll make the .class file for you. Make sure to submit the .java when you turn this in in the Dropbox.